Assalamu alaikum guys. Okay, so welcome back in this lecture. Uh, this is a continuation of the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we did the hemoglobin as a buffer and the allosteric effects of H positive ion concentration and allosteric effect of oxygen on the affinity of hemoglobin. And now in this lecture, we are going to look at the third allosteric uh, factor, allosteric factor, that is a 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, which is actually an intermediate metabolite of the glycolytic pathway of the glycolysis and intermediate uh, metabolic uh, product of uh, glycolysis. This is an intermediate of glycolysis, 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, and it contains uh, phosphate groups. Some negatively charged phosphate groups are present. And it's uh, basically due to this phosphate group uh, that this uh, 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, the negative charge of the phosphate groups is responsible for binding the 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate to the hemoglobin structure. It is an intermediate of the glycolysis, talked about it. It binds to the a positively charged pocket between the beta globin chains of hemoglobin. And um, I'll show you a diagram. Okay, this diagram has been taken from your book, Lippin Cart. Okay, if you look at this uh, structure of hemoglobin, this these are the four uh, subunits of hemoglobin, two alpha and two beta subunits. In between the beta subunits, we have a positively charged region due to some positively charged amino acids present over here. Okay, some positively, uh, positively charged amino acids are present over here. And these positively charged amino acids, what they really do is that they uh, they attract the negatively charged 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate towards themselves. They, they form a pocket-like structure. The 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate is since it contains uh, phosphate groups, negatively charged phosphate groups, the negatively charged due to this negative character of 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, it comes and binds to this pocket in between the uh, beta particles, in, sorry, in between the beta uh, chains of the um, hemoglobin and after binding to the beta uh, chains of the hemoglobin uh, in this positively charged pocket what really happens next is that if there is some oxygen uh, bonded to oxygen if oxygen is bonded to any of the four heme groups that oxygen is removed why that oxygen is lost why because this 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate it stabilizes it stabilizes the T conformation, the T conformation of hemoglobin, it actually reduces the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. Okay, whenever 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate is attached in this pocket over here in between the four hemoglobin chains, it reduces the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. And once the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is reduced, that oxygen molecule can no longer bind to the hemoglobin structure and so is removed. And in this state, uh, the deoxygenated hemoglobin contains the 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate and this uh, has a very, very low affinity for oxygen and cannot easily uh, accept the oxygen back. This uh, reaction can be, uh, okay, I'll read through the third point now. The 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate has a negatively charged phosphate group, hence are attracted to the positive region created by the positively charged amino acids. We, uh, this sentence is talking about that positive pocket in between the two beta globin chains. All right, and the uh, attraction of the phosphate group with those beta globin chains. And now, uh, but low affinity. It has high affinity for deoxyhemoglobin, but a low affinity for oxyhemoglobin. Okay, what does this sentence mean? This actually means that the 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate, it can uh, bind, it can stabilize the deoxy form of hemoglobin, which is actually the T conformation of hemoglobin. It can stabilize the T conformation of hemoglobin. It can bind to the deoxy form of hemoglobin very easily, and it can remain bound to the T uh, deoxy form of hemoglobin uh, only, okay? If this deoxy form of hemoglobin starts getting deoxygenated, although it won't be easy because this deoxy hemoglobin has a very, very low affinity for oxygen first because it it was in the T conformation and secondly because this 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate it even stabilized this T conformation further and made it even more resistant to oxidation to accepting the oxygen molecule but in the lungs due to very high partial pressure of oxygen the oxygen manages to uh, bind to one of the four heme groups and once the oxygen binds to the heme groups 
then this 2,3-base-phosphoglycerate is no longer able to remain attached to the to, uh, hemoglobin form. It, it is unable to remain attached to the hemoglobin and so because the hemoglobin has now converted into oxyhemoglobin and so uh, oxyhemoglobin and 2,3-base-phosphoglycerate is then removed from the uh, it is it then detaches from the hemoglobin structure and since i told you that uh, the 2 3 base phosphoglycerate also base phosphoglycerate uh, if it increases in concentration it also reduces the affinity of oxygen of hemoglobin for oxygen therefore the oxygen dissociation curve will shift to the right we'll get a right shifted oxygen dissociation curve this, this blue curve represents a normal oxygen uh, dissociation curve but this red one uh, represents uh, elevated levels of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate okay over here it's written that uh, from blood from uh, individuals adapted to high altitudes why do they why did they uh, why does the blood uh, of individuals at high altitude have a greater 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate that's because at high altitudes we know that the partial pressure of oxygen is very low and if the partial pressure of oxygen is low then the tissues will not be able to get a com uh, oxygen easily or quickly so this uh, high 2 3 bis phosphoglycerate reduces the hemoglobin concentration even further so that they could quickly or at a faster rate uh, reduce uh, at a faster rate uh, dissociate from the oxygen and supply the oxygen to the um, tissues even at a much a bit higher partial pressures and if you look at the p50 of this curve the p50 of this curve has also increased it has right shifted curves has a greater p50 if you don't know what p50 is uh, you may refer to the previous lecture i have uh, given the link to that i explained what p50 is in that lecture and plus uh, okay, this right shifting actually reduces the affinity of ox uh, hemoglobin for oxygen and so that oxygen can easily be or quickly be uh, become available for the tissues which are over there. Right, so 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate, this was an important point that 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate at high altitudes also increases in concentrations in order to reduce the affinity for, of hemoglobin for oxygen. When 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate is attached, it stabilizes the deoxy form of hemoglobin and prevents the oxygen from binding. Once the oxygen binds, okay, uh, this is uh, the case in, in the lungs, okay, when once the oxygen binds in the lungs oh, with high difficulty, what happens, the pocket loosens the pocket loosens, okay, it, uh, it does not remain as tightly, firmly attached to the 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate, but rather it loosens, and so the 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate detaches the, that pocket, and once it detaches it, then again oxyhemoglobin is formed with a low affinity, with a high affinity for oxygen. But as long as the 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate is attached to the hemoglobin, uh, hemoglobin will have a low affinity for oxygen. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. Okay, and if you look at the black curve over here, this black curve is also a sigmoid in shape, but it has it has been stripped off from 2, 3 bis phosphoglycerate, and this curve has been left shifted. Okay, left sh it has been shifted to the left because now this uh, hemoglobin, which is over here, this hemoglobin has very, very high affinity for oxygen, and it will not, it will not, uh, it will not uh, loosen, it will not uh, give up its oxygen to the surrounding tissues even at a low temp pressure, even at the low pressure where it is supposed to supply the oxygen to the tissues under normal circumstances. It uh, has to go even lower to supply uh, or the oxygen which it already contains. So this, if the 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate decreases, then the affinity uh, increases. And if it becomes zero, it becomes abnormally high. Okay, so that's why this shape of the curve has now almost become hyperbolic. It it resembles now the shape of the graph of myoglobin. Myoglobin, as you already know, and we've talked about it in the previous lectures as well, that it has a very high affinity for oxygen because it acts as an oxygen storage. Okay, so that's it for this lecture as well. Uh, we'll be back with more lectures uh, very soon. Thank you so much, guys.